Hey guys, Hornbrooks here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some updates with the Lego room as well as some mock disassembly um, and putting the parts back into my inventory. And just, um, yeah, I got another set from Barnes & Noble and another cart to put parts in. I'm going to put tire parts and car parts and airplane parts in there and it'll be amazing. But this is going to be a great video, so let's get into it. First off, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about my 3D printer here. So my next video is going to be 3D printing Lego things like in real life, right? So I was going to print something, but it failed. So I need to work on that a little bit tonight. But also I have some sets over here to disassemble and I need to switch out my GoPro battery. But um, yeah, so there are some other things that I need to put up like this. I need to hang right here, right next to the um, Attack of the Clone or yeah, Attack of the Clones poster. And I just think it'll look really cool. And yeah, my display right now, I kind of updated because I have these like little war scenes or not war, but like um, fighting scenes for my battle packs. And I think it looks really nice. And I took a while to um, set those up. I also need to find a new space for these minifigure displays. This was the free set that I got from Barnes and Noble. They were offering this the 24th of August, 2024. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm probably not gonna build it because I'll just um, wait till it grows in value and then I'll probably sell it. But yeah, it's pretty cool and I'll probably just keep it here or under my um, little attachment desk here with all my other steel sets. And I think I've updated this area well enough to where it looks pretty good. I've also switched the sides that I have my like fishing tackle boxes in. Um, but yeah, that looks nice over here. And I cleaned up some over here with some camera equipment. And then eventually I would like to get my GoPro stuff down here and then bring the um, pick a brick cups up just so that they're out of the way. And also I need to sort that and just figure out what we have left to the set. But yeah, overall under here is uh, very nice and I don't really think I need to update it this video. First off, I'm going to reorganize my entire system because these three are filled to the brim with pieces and then this whole container is completely empty because it is brand new shout out to my dad because he actually got this for me and i really appreciate that sorry for the echo but i got two new brick heads those being ray and kylo and i kind of staggered them so that you could see the ones in the back and the front and i think it looks really nice and here is a look at some of our funko pops so currently my process is just seeing what size container they need. Like this is all gonna go in one container because they're all pretty similar, like brick with the um, uh, Technic pin on the end. So over here, this is going to be one by one containers right here. And then this is gonna be one by three containers this size. And then I need to find, I need to empty this one out so that I have like one to size. But yeah, I have a process right now and it's working pretty well. So I know there's a gap in the timeline, but basically we didn't have enough sorters. So I went to Target and got $28 worth of sorters. That's what you see here. And it's just a lot. So I'm going to be putting that into the empty bin right now. So I just wanted to go over the drawers really quick. So I took the stuff, the contents that were in this drawer and I put them in here. They were just the mini figure parts. And then I have a drawer just full of huge pieces. And then, yeah, I probably need to adjust that a little bit. And then I have just a full drawer of tiny ones. Obviously, I need to reorganize it so that it's with pieces like it. Um, but yeah, that's getting a little stuck. That's probably not great. Um, everything's kind of getting a little stuck. But yeah, I have some more just big plate in this drawer. Um, more one by threes, car parts. I don't know what's going on here. Um... Yeah, I don't know, but I'll try and figure that out. There's just some extra parts down here at the bottom just because I'm not going to be using these very often, like at all. These windows are going to go in that half door over there, as you can see, like the one that's open. But um, it's a little too tall, so I'm going to try and condense this before I put it in there, but I probably won't do that in this video. But now I need to put these in the three rest of the containers. So currently I have everything in a drawer, and you can see the immense pile of bags that comes with taking the parts out and putting them in here. Um, we still have a couple just stray bags in there that I need to undo, but I need to make sure that my dad's put that first. But, um, so I accidentally put these on the wrong side. So now I'm gonna need to put those over here, which is gonna be a little bit annoying, but I just need to pull it out and do that really quick. 
So I fixed the stoppers and I think this is where I'm gonna end I'm gonna end the video and then tomorrow I will film my product in a store. So that's gonna be the next video. Sorry, I lied a little bit earlier saying that it's gonna be the 3D printer. But yeah, now it's gonna be that because we have um surpassed a hundred dollars in sales. That is a hundred and one dollars to be exact. But um I really just wanna say thank you guys for helping me grow the business. And I really just want to say that I appreciate you guys very much. And thank you guys for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. And goodbye.